I thought it was you that was not real or alive. Eh, debatable. Hello and welcome to From the Depths. If you're seeing this now, you're either live or you click the thing that I put a thing saying that this is where it starts or you watched all that useless me getting started part. You, you just, you know what, pretend this is the start of the video, okay? Um, I'm setting the difficulty to first playthrough on all this stuff and easy designs because I will fail horribly if I don't. And um, I've already done the f failing horribly thing once, so I don't want to do it again. Of course, I am doing this live. I'm doing a live stream, so uh, it's just me this time, though. Lomeli's too busy being busy. Say hi, Lomeli. Hello. And say hi, music. I'm a bastard. Okay, yeah. <laughs> the music took a little longer to start than I thought it would. Um, let's see. Yes, so I am actually playing some music. This is music that I can put on my video and still do co uh, 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 monetization, which is cool. Uh, it's by this channel called, well, channel slash publishing label called No Copyright Sounds, who allow anyone to use their stuff. I gotta check my options real fast to make sure that the campaign options... Yeah, see, for some reason, the campaign options will reset themselves w when you start, and then you have to un restart them or something. I don't know. They reset themselves and then you have to undo that. So that's unfortunate. And I'm going to save this as noob v1. Yes, save in slot 3 as noob v1, which is another save that broke, kind of. I, I Or I think it broke. I'm not sure. So I'm just uh, replacing it. And it's been just long enough since I've uh, worked on this game, worked on, uh, played this game, that I don't remember how to build. Nope, that's, that's not how I build. Um... Was it B? Yeah, it was B. Oh, wrong button. Oh no, I don't remember how to uh, how to change the uh, controls because it's in the mode that I can't do. F3, there we go. Okay. So, first thing I'm gonna do is actually uh, take apart this top structure. Oops, I broke that piece off. Oh well, I'm sure I didn't need it and I broke another piece off. And I know there's a way to set a mirror and I should do that. I'm not going to do that just yet, though. Oh, yeah. You start with a little ship thingy. Wait a second. Is that an enemy attacking already? No, that's my thing, isn't it? That It's a different starting ship than they used to give you, so that threw me off. Yeah, I'm going to take a look at it. Yeah, I'll, I'll take a look at it later when I actually start working on it. Right now, I want to get more power on my uh, base engine so that... Oh, did I just... I just made a hole in the floor. Oh well, I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to go ahead and make more holes in the floor. And... Come on. Break all the things. There's like this one bouncing wooden block there that... I would expect it to recover it, but it doesn't seem to have decided to yet. Oops. Oh well. Yep, there's some pieces of my uh, base just kind of falling off. Best not to think about those. This uh, light alloy blocks, I believe these are. They're a pretty useful resource to get early on, and so I'm just kind of cannibalizing the starting structure a little. And I should have been in symmetry mode right now. Let's go ahead and break it down to... Yeah, let's, let's just break it all the way to here on both sides. I'm going to do this on the other side. Then I'm going to build the uh, main engine up a bit more. And I'm going to hopefully remember how to build these engines uh, efficiently, because I'm not sure if I can. And Lomeli's going to be mad at me when I tell him he should play this game. Hey, Lomeli. Yes? You should play this game. You should play One Finger Death Punch. If I had it, I would. Do I have it? I don't know. I'm asking you, because you're not busy with anything right now, right? <laughs> I'm sorry. Totally, I have all the time in the world. Yep. Oh yes, I forgot. This this game has been updated, so there's new cannons that I don't understand at all. That is the wrong button. There you go. Alright, is this going to connect properly? I believe those are connected properly. If they're not, we'll find out. Uh, let's build that out a little more. And first of all, let's see. Those are in a good arrangement, except for the fact that they're not. So let me take some cylinders and put them... Oh, let me actually turn on symmetry before I go any further. How do I symmetry? Because I don't remember. F in for mirror. 
There we go. Yes. Okay, good. We'll put two of these there. Another set here. And another set there. Very nice. Now, connected to those, I need to put carburetors. Yeah, carburetors. Oops. And I need to put those kind of everywhere, essentially. Everywhere that's connected to one of these cylinders needs to be a carburetor. And then connected to the carburetors, I can put other things. And the other things are superchargers and engine zone fuel tanks. Superchargers go there. And there. Oh, I don't have enough resources to make another one. Right, so problem number one. <laughs> so I can take off superchargers on my engine, on the part that I need to replace anyhow. There we go. So I've taken off a few. I'll take off these cylinders because we're not using them. Well, we technically are, but we're going to not be in a minute. Oh yeah, this music is good. And we'll put some engine zone fuel tanks on here. And you see, the moment I put those engine zone fuel tanks in here, this thing got a lot quieter. Purring like a kitten. Because kittens purr like engines, right? I don't know, that's what I've heard in uh, movie things. So it must be true. Right, Lamelli? Yep. As he sits here and tries to program and I just annoy him constantly. Right? Yep. <laughs> See, at least he agrees with me that I'm annoying him. Okay. Am I still? Yes, I'm using engine owned fuel tanks, so let's go ahead and put those in where they will go. And. I think I will. I'm actually just gonna put in. Oh, wait, yeah, that's where one needs to go, and another one there. I'm gonna put in. No, not a carburetor, a supercharger here. Hopefully, I put in two. Good, good. I'm not keeping too close an eye on the resources, even though I should be. I'm going to put another carburetor here, and another one here and here, and I'll just kind of leave my engine like that for now, even though it's kind of a, it's kind of a shitty design the way it is right now because it's not complete, really, but uh, it'll be okay. It'll be okay. I said lying. Uh, let me put one more fuel tank here. There you go. Yeah, so we got a pretty efficient engine. Let's see. We got uh, fuel usage. No. Oh, wait, no, no, we got power output of 1,500, but we're only using 138 of, 183 of that. It's using a very small amount of power, or, or fuel use, and uh, it's otherwise doing quite well. Yep. Okay, so we should also go about improving the capability of this to mine things, because we're going to need a lot of that. And let's see. Oh, you have to have resource storage now in order to store resources? Do, do you? Currently serves no purpose, it says right on the description. So uh, I would guess I don't have to put those down. But uh, I'm guessing they're going to add that mechanic in. It's amazing this game's still in development because this game's been around a long time. Uh, what am I looking for? Where the shit does resources stuff come from? Oh, here we go. It's in. It's in the. Uh, it's in the process resource thing. Learn how to gather, process, and store resources. The fuel storage tank serves fuel. Fuel is used in engines. Uh, yes, I get that. Can I go to the next thing? This this didn't even like load properly. What the shit? I went to like a guide thing and it's like just wrong. Wait, how do I exit this? Oh, thank goodness. That got weird. Um, oh, now I'm not in the build mode anymore. And now my symmetry is gone as well. Okay. There we go. Now the main thing we need are resource gatherers, but we also need a few oil drills, so I'm just going to put a couple in. Um, I figure here's a good place to put them, except that it's not. So I'll have to figure out. There we go. Four of them should be enough, four on each side. We'll go ahead and put one here to uh, place that where that should have been. Oh good, it, it, it didn't have that uh, gap on the other side. So I'll put the resource gatherer here and then I'll put uh, a bunch more resource gatherers around the outside. And you can hear the engine starting to heat up a bit because I'm actually using that power now. Oops. 
How's the engine holding? Doing pretty well. I think I'll leave it at that for now, except that uh, the base is going to need some defenses. And I'm trying to decide whether I want to build up the base defenses first, or build up a ship first. What do you think, Lamelli? Um, that you weren't paying attention. Gathering. I'm already doing resource gathering, but I'm saying should I build up defenses on the main base first, or build up a ship first? Um, <laughs> I don't know. Well, we'll see how long that lasts. Uh, Lamelli, in case you didn't know, you've gone completely insane right this moment. What? Okay, now you're back. Hi. You you what? were what? you were completely like just just frozen, going uh on the no when you said uh, I don't know. Um, so yeah, it, that happened. Let me restart team speak. Okay. Bye. User disconnected from your channel. Oh, that's an engine block. I need cylinders. There we go. Cylinders. 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 Carburetors. Carburetors everywhere. Okay. Carburetors. Carburetors everywhere. Hello! And welcome to the world of tomorrow. And welcome to the world of tomorrow. Uh, so, what was your answer? Um, I don't know, because one, you don't, uh, you want the fences to protect your base, but you can use a ship to provide the fences. Yeah, that's a good point. I think before I do that, though, I should probably defend my engine, because my engine is kind of just literally sitting out at the edge of a platform where it could be attacked. You know, just just saying, that's probably a good idea. Let's see, how do I want to do this? Let's just take this part, and go along here. He stays... I like this song. I like all these songs. I wouldn't be playing them if I didn't like them. But this one in particular, I'm, I'm really enjoying. Reason she stays... Far away... Okay, I'm going to use wooden beams, because wooden beams are superior to everything. As you know. Right, Lamelli? Yep. Okay, I was about to say, just say yes, okay? Because even if you're not sure, say yes, because you should know, because rob us. Yep. <laughs> then she stays... I know the reason she's so far away. I know the reason she stays. I know the reason she's so far away. This song is great. I need to stop and say what song this is. This is Phantom Sage. No, this is Miko. Wait, what? Oh, this is Phantom Sage with Miko. Okay. Yeah, uh, the, the I'm using FUBAR to play music, and the reading it has for how it organizes this thing was slightly confusing, because it has artist slash album in one category, and then title slash track artist in another, like, category. It was, it was weird. No reason she stays. I know the reason. She's so far away. Oops. Not Q. Is it shift to go up and down? Space goes up. Something goes down. I thought it was shift, but I guess not, because shift isn't doing that anymore. When I alt tab. Oh, alt. Because <laughs> I wasn't shift tabbing, I was alt tabbing. Oh no, the song's over. Well, okay. Okay. You know what? It's time to get the base to move on up. 
I can do that. Let's see, uh, my power usage is quite a bit of the engine's actual capacity though, so maybe that's not the best idea. Let's see if I can put, no, not carburetors, superchargers. Let's put another one here, another set here. I'll probably run out at that point. You know what I need to do before I do anything else, actually, now that I think about it? I need to get some, uh, what are they called? Crystal Growth Farms set up. Let me, why can't I put one there? Oh, it's because there's a sign here. Which way do I want to turn this? Okay. Let's, yeah, that's a decent amount of crystal growth. Oops, I hit sh shift when I mean to hit, what is it, tab? No, it's E. Actually, I need to go back to engine. Go to engine zone fuel tank and put some more of these on. Where I actually forgot to on the original part of this. And that's where I'll put more cylinders. So also here and here and here. Which means, what is that one doing there? That's not where a fuel tank should be. That's where a carburetor should be. Also, why is there a fuel tank here? That shouldn't be there. Oh, wait, no, yeah, that one should be there. That one shouldn't be there. What should be there? Oh yeah, a carburetor. Wow, that's weird. I, I fucked up this design a bit. Not too much, though, fortunately. Oops, that's not... Oh, that went in the right place, even though I accidentally clicked the wrong place. Oh, let me take that out. Yep, okay. I'm running out of resources for that again. Yeah, it's the, uh, it's the oil that I'm running out of, actually? Yeah, wow, it's the oil that I'm running out of. Okay, I'll need to put more oil resource gathering. Ooh, it's nighttime. It just very suddenly got dark. That's nice. Yep, oops, wrong button. Okay, so I can lift the base now. Is it actually lifting? No, it's not. Why is it not? I need to get out of build mode, I think, and get closer to the uh, controller. Okay, maybe now, oops. Not Q. Alt to go down. Yes. There we go. And U. Okay, it's doing nothing in build mode. Oh, wait. I think I'm moving it, not going up. Yeah, now I'm going up. Okay. How do you open the map? Okay, M. Good. Okay, good. Looks like we're in the center of the resources. Yeah, basically. Actually, we're a little, we're a little off, but... It's close enough. Oops, nope, go back to this. This is great. Oops, not tab. Gotta get used to the controls again. Fortunately, I've gotten pretty much used to them again pretty quickly. Skies, uh, we could beat the skies. I don't understand this chat. Wait, do I have symmetry on? Apparently, I don't. Whoa. Uh -oh. That's not good. I need to turn that back on. We could be the skies, we could be, we could be the skies. I don't get this song. I don't understand this song. Fuck, I just took out a random component of the engine. I think I took out a cylinder. Fuck, of all things to accidentally take out. I cut my engine in half. I mean, by cylinder I meant crankshaft. Man, of all the things to accidentally fuck up, cutting your engine in half. <laughs> T 
two, three, four. One, two, three. There we go, and there we go, and there we go. One, two, three, four. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay, good. That's that's a more stable design. Three, four. Did something just attack? What the hell? What just blew up? Oh! Oh, good job. My uh, my starting boat decided to go under the base and get damaged by the mining system. Good job, good job, starting boat. You're uh, you're hired. Oops, wrong button. Is it shift? No, it's not shift. It's space. There we go. Okay, one, two, three, four. Alright, I'm not going to worry about replacing any more of those blocks for now. Because I think this is good enough. Now what I am going to do is... Uh, oops, hit the wrong button. Tab, it's tab. For some reason, my brain is not thinking that it's tab. And we'll put... I'm thinking... Yeah, let's go ahead and just kind of have a wall like this. Nah, I'm going to leave that like that. Actually, no. I'm going to do that. No, I'm not. I'm going to do that. <laughs> Make up your damn mind. This engine is over-designed. Oops, one right there. Oh, we need to put a engine zone fuel tank down there. And up here. I'll put a carburetor here, and engine zone fuel tank here, and a carburetor here, and a supercharger here? No, no, uh, engine zone fuel tank. Oh yeah, that should have been a carburetor. What? Oh. I replaced a uh, engine zone fuel tank with an engine zone fuel tank because I'm smart like that. There we go. That's built up literally to the wall. In fact, I'm going to take out the wall now to uh, expand that slightly because I don't like the fact that my wall is limiting my design. There we go. this one going that way. Ah, see? Yeah, that's convenient. Oh yeah, I'm liking this. I'm liking this. It'll suck when it gets blown up. Because, you know, that's that's going to happen. It's unavoidable. No, I didn't want to do that. Okay, how should I put this? Like that? Yeah. Yeah, like that. Okay. There we go. Will that fit? No, it won't. Well, let's take that out. Okay, good. That didn't break. I thought that would break when I did that. Yeah. I'm liking this. Yeah, 
this. This would be like a little walkway through here. Actually, both that one should just be a walkway. The other one should be sealed up. There we go. Let's go back to beams. I need to stop caring so much about aesthetics when I could just be attacked and killed any minute. You know? I asked the um, one who's quit it. Oh, okay. I was going to say, I asked the one who's quit paying attention because they're busy. How's it going, by the way? Um, client server desync issues. Nice. Sounds like uh, fun. I said lying. I mean, it could be fun. I don't know. Probably isn't. Is it? No. Okay. Let's put wood blocks in here. There we go. And let's see how that looks on the other side, because I know this thing isn't symmetrical to begin with, but actually that looks alright on this side too, so I'm happy with that. Okay, the engine obviously still isn't done being built. I need to work on that a bit further. But I'm gonna finish encasing it in wood first, and then I'll worry about finishing building it. Oops, wrong button, yay. I'm used to the star made controls for going up and down, so I'll hit Q and E to go up and down when I should be hitting Q to select something and E to, what is it, enter the uh, like tool select mode, whatever it's called. Oh, I accidentally built that just right there. Okay. That's going well. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Oops. Space. Remember, space is a button you can push. Oh. Let's see. What's missing on this engine? A bunch of fuel tanks, basically. I think I have enough resources to go ahead and build in the rest of these fuel tanks. Okay, yes, yeah, so let's put a carburetor here. And of course, that will get uh, two more fuel tanks. Actually, this needs to be a supercharger. And fuel tanks, put one there. Oh, if I put one there, I won't be able to look at the engine anymore. Oh, well, we don't need to look at this engine anymore. Hopefully. Okay, so we have a semi-well-defended engine. I mean, armored. Well, semi-well-armored engine. Some other areas that are not really well-armored. We have the default gun on here that's pretty shit. Um, I guess I should learn how to make a uh, turret. But I think before I learn how to make a turret, I should... No, I'm, I'm, I have an AI ship that's kind of here that probably won't help much, but theoretically can help. And I'll just rely on it helping for now, and I'll learn how to make a turret on the main ship. I don't know if you heard my alarm going off just then, but shh, shh, didn't happen. I'm gonna have to take a look at how that ship works. Um, right now, I need to not hit the wrong button, although I will continually do that. What's in here? Nothing? Yeah, it's like a wooden base. There's nothing actually in there. This turret piece is based off of a turret slash spinner, and then it's got, like, some... I don't know, I hit right bracket to edit it. Okay, I'm now editing it. So it's got... Can I see what this is? No, I can't. Okay. The thing is, I don't think I should learn how to make custom cannons right now, because uh, custom cannons are going to be replaced with the advanced cannon system. So I think actually I'm going to go back to return to editing hole, press that key. Okay, good. I'm going to go ahead and uh, mount a new, a set of the new turrets on the, what's it called, the, on the engine, because that won't possibly go wrong, right? Putting a turret on top of an engine? Nope. 
It's not a recipe for disaster. Not at all. Oh yeah, I forgot that you'll trace blue lines weirdly. No wait, that's not me tracing blue lines. That's the, uh, like... I have no idea what that is, actually, now that I'm looking at it. Well, let's hope it's not deadly and move on our way. Oops. Nope. Okay, stop moving. Advanced cannons. Okay, time to learn how to do this shit. There's a APS guide, but, um... Last time I clicked the guide, it went really weird, so I'm not gonna do that. Firing chamber for the cannon. It's the main component of the advanced projectile system. Mantlets and barrels go in front of it, and gauge increasers go behind it. And place other components on the other four sides of it. Okay. So that's what we base it off of, essentially. Gauge increases, which increases the gauge, obviously. And I'm not going to use those. Autoloaders will allow you to attach ammo clips and ammo input feeders so that you can, uh, what should we call it, you know, give it ammo. Ammo clips connect to autoloaders to hold... Ammo intakes connect to ammo clips to fill the clip with ammo so that it can be loaded into the autoloader and be fired. This clip store... yeah, I know that part. The ammo input feeder accepts ammo from output feeders, can connect to autoloaders or the front and back of ammo clips. And there's a hydraulic recoil absorber. Will absorb recoil when the gun is fired is to be placed on the gauge increase. Well, I'm not going to be using those right now. I'm not going to worry about recoil. Uh, one meter omni mantlet with even azimuth and elevation firing arcs. I don't get what that means. Oh, that's the thing that allows you to... Uh, Oh, that's the thing that allows you to uh, choose where it fires. There's a one meter one that's omni. There's an elevation mantlet, which will um, it gives you low azimuth, so low side to side and medium elevation firing arcs. And then there's a three by three uh, uh, omni. Then there's a three meter tall elevation one, which is again that kind. And then there's the anti air type one, which has it's a 2 meter tall and 1 meter wide mantlet with a low azimuth and a very high elevation in one direction firing arc. So does this still have to be like placed on the turret? I'm a little confused by that. Then we have a 6 way connector for connecting parts together. We have a laser targeter for automatic setting of time fuse and altitude fuse at up to detonation parameters. Ah! Cool. Um, I'm not going to use that. Actually, I probably am going to use that. Railgun, no. Railgun, no. Railgun, no. I'm not even going to learn how to do the railgun stuff yet. Muzzle bake reduces recoil but lowers speed. Bore evacuator prevents gas... Blah, blah, blah. Provides a modest reduction in cooldown time but presents a weak point on the barrel. The effect does not stack, so only one of these is useful. So I'll definitely put one of those on the end of the barrel. Ammo controllers... Uh, oh, that's used to actually create your ammo stuff. Oops, I don't want to place that. I want to keep reading. Let's see. Ammo input feeder. Oh, that's just one type of part. I hit I. What does I do? Oh, I rotated my base ever so slightly, and now I've hit R and I'm on a wooden beam. I don't know what I'm doing. Hydraulic recoil absorber of different components. Oh, yeah. I don't care about those. Uh, let's see. And we can have ammo clips of various size for different size shells. Autoloader for different sizes. Belt feed autoloader. The belt feed loads much faster than a traditional loader, but the clip cannot reload during firing phase. And cannot be fired during the reloading phase. So it forces you to go at a certain speed? I'm a little confused by that. Okay. Well, I'm gonna have to start with the advanced firing piece. No, wait, no, I'm not. Oops, I hit I again. Advanced firing, firing chamber, this is the main component of the system. I guess this is what I have to start with. Alright. Let's, uh, actually, let's just, let's turn off symmetry. How do I turn off symmetry? Ah, there we go. Uh... Do, 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 do. Let's just put one right here. What is that saying? Current slot zero, blah, blah, blah shells racked, autoloader, blah, 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 railgun stuff, recoil force. 
Okay, so I have my advanced firing piece. I have nothing else, and I keep hitting I by accident. So let's go with a anti-aircraft mantlet? No, I don't want to do that. I have no idea if I've connected this properly. It doesn't feel like I've connected it properly. Oh, I see how this works now. Yeah, so I do need to put this on like a turret base thingy. And I hit I again. Where do I find those? Maybe they're under custom cannons. Six-way connector, suppression barrels, elevation... What is this, motor-driven barrel? Will increase the arc. Elevation will increase the arc and reduce it in horizontal. Good for AI and artillery. Interesting. Gauge increases, six-way connectors, and then there's also other connectors. There's a predictor, an interface screen. Cool. Explosive warheads, autoloader, ammo box, armor piercing thing. No, I need turret stuff. Maybe it's under miscellaneous. Let's see. NPC spawner. Nope. Respawning beacon. Nope. Standard door. No. What's an origin block? Act as the origin when spawning in a vehicle that contains useful for vehicles that need to be spawned precisely with respect to a larger mothership. Okay. Repair tentacles. Nope, I don't need that. Repair bots. We probably should have some of those on board. We... I think we already do, but... No, it's not in here. New object, sub-object, no. It's not gonna be under AI. Let's see... No, lasers. It's not a laser component. It's not going to be under the custom ca or advanced cannons. It's not under the custom cannons. Welcome to guard tries to find a thing on the thing. Yay. Cuz I I really can't find it. Really help, I don't understand. You don't know either, but help anyhow. Storage stuff that I can't use. Spin block controller. Allows you to control spin blocks on your constructible. Uh, that's... That's not... That's not what I need. Damn it, where is it? Uh, dedicated heli blade spinner. No, uh, reduce processing load by using this instead of spin blocks and helicopter. Uh, yeah. Well, that's if you need- that's if you're making a helicopter. But I'm not doing that. <laughs> Has the advantage- added advantage of being placeable on spin blocks to make god knows what. Uh, boat shit? I don't need boat shit. Is it under blocks? No. Where the hell is the spin block? Okay, I need to I, I need to actually look this up because I can't find it. Component. Down out, down out, down out. <sighs> They're in the new objects tab. Really? Wow. Okay. Fuck me. Spin slash turn block. Torqueless, I'm guessing is if you're not doing a thing. This one does not apply physical forces to the main vehicle. Precision spin. Use, uh, control them with the spin block controller. So I'm confused. Oh, okay, so you use the torqueless one, I'm guessing, if you're doing something like turrets. I don't know. If I do it wrong, well, 
I'm fucked. Okay, let's turn that that way. And let's go to edit this spinner, which I'm assuming means I'm editing this one now. And I'm going to start with advanced cannons, advanced firing piece, which I apparently can't place here. Oops, wrong. Yeah, I don't know why that's not working. I guess I'm not actually on this particular thing. Whoa, whoa. Um, that went weird. Wait a second. Wait a second. Oh, I'm attached to the radar now. <laughs> okay, let's not be attached to the radar. Yeah, those blue lines must be me. That's weird. Oh, now I'm now I'm on it. Okay. So let's take a look at that. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, I might actually be able to make something now. We want a... We're gonna do an anti-air gun here. Oh, that's upside down. Uh, WS. There we go. That's still upside down. Oh, maybe this is upside down. Maybe that's why. How do I tell if this is right side up? Well, I guess it's a right side up now. Let's find out. Yes, it is. Whoa. A bird flew right next to me, and it scared me. I got scared. I'm a bird. I'm proud of this. And by proud, I mean not proud. Okay, let's put in... Wow. I forgot. These start really tiny. Let's do three. Nah, let's do a few more. One... Yeah, let's do one more regular barrel, and then we're going to put the bore evacuator on the end. What does it do again? Oh yeah, it provides cooldown time. Um, I'm actually not going to put it on until we see if I need it. Let's see, Q to change this. Okay. Enable extra constraints. No. Uh, required accuracy before it'll start firing. The angle between direction of fire and direction to target before weapon will fire. Um, I guess it's a good idea to put that on two. Angle between decker and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, okay, two, two seems like an alright thing. And it's gonna be on zero. Number of barrels, let's put that up to two. Yeah, so it'll have two barrels firing. Overclocking time allows firing before the cool time period is finished. Firing before properly cooled down gives an accuracy decrease and a recoil decrease. Okay. Desired shell gauge. Shell diameter in centimeters for single barrel count. Your desired gauge will only kick in if it's lower than the gauge you achieve. Okay, I'm not going to care about that. Overclock chargers. Oh, that's if you that's if you have uh, railgun stuff on there. And I'm not going to have a max fire rate because that would be silly. Okay, so now I have the beginning of a turret built up. The very beginning. Okay, so I have... Oh, six-way connector. That's what I need. Um, I'm assuming everything else needs to be connected using that. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Okay, so I'll put... I'll put a few of these just out here um, on the sides. Oops, on both sides. And then... Auto loader time increase due to complexity zero. Okay, that's uh, let's hope that doesn't become an issue. Let's put in. First of all, I'm gonna go ahead and symmetricalize this. Symmetricalize? Yeah, that's a word. Auto loader. Auto loader. Attach ammo clips and ammo input feeders. Okay, so let's put a one meter shell ammo loader. Right here no let's let's take those off yeah let's put these right here two auto loaders right and then i'll take and put ammo clips on the side oops uh q and s there we go and q and s is not the right button anymore okay there we go and then i want to put 
ammo input feeders on these and there and there there should have put one back here already but i didn't i'm not gonna put one there because i think i'm gonna put something else right there and i'm gonna put one up here okay i don't need recoil absorbers i have i'm not increasing the gauge i might increase the gauge nah i'm not gonna increase the gauge uh i'm not gonna put railgun stuff on here. I am gonna put a... Yeah, I'm gonna put a fall of shot predictor on here. So let me turn off the... Oops, I accidentally exited build mode. Wait, I must... Oh, now I'm controlling the gun. Which can't actually turn the, the thing it's on. Oh yeah, because I, I don't have a uh, rotation controller set down for that. This looks like a spin- no, that's a fortress controller thingy. Okay, I need a spin block controller. No, that would be under control. Spin block controller, and I will attach it right here next to the core of the base, because it's that important. Is it A1 steak sauce? Is it an A1 steak sauce? I don't know. Um, let me go out of build mode real fast to see if I can now turn the turret. No, I can't. Right, so I've made a uh, I've made a gun that can fire in one direction. It's like a band. Can I can I just not use it anymore? It's actually not working now. I added a spin block controller and now it doesn't work at all. Let's try now. Can I can I Yeah, I can I can fire it now. Wow, that got weird. So I think I used the wrong spin block controller on this. So that's uh, that's great. All right, I don't have ammo production. No wait, yeah I do, don't I? Because this this room back here is like it's got a bunch of ammo in it, and it's got a spawn beacon. That's not ammo production. Um, I have fuel containers here. I have an oil thingy. I have. Protected ammo storage. Yeah, I don't have ammo production. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's let's go ahead and put ammo production down then. I guess. Yep. Processed resources. Ammunition processor. I'm gonna put it next to the engine because. Where's the best place to put in uh, explosives? Lomeli, where's the best place to put explosives? Next to a fire. Uh, yeah, according to that one guy who drove a van into a van full of explosives into a. Remember that? Good times. Good times. I don't have. Okay, there we go. Are you just not answering, or do you not remember what I'm talking about? I don't know. Okay. Well, I have ammunition producers now. And I need to go back to the advanced cannons. I need to put me an ammo controller down. I'll put it next to the fuel. Nah, I don't like that placement. I'm gonna put it... Gosh, there's no good place for it on this thing right now. Once I learn how to do things, then I can, then I can actually uh, put that stuff together. Right. Okay, each one provides two shell modules. Well, I'm only going to need one because I'm making one meter shells, right? All right, let's put two down just in case. Uh, shell parts, do they, can I just put them wherever? Ammo, output, feed. Connects to the ammo system on its back face. I don't get what that means. Well, let's just put some shell parts down. I figure that should be enough shell parts. And then I'll put ammo output things. I assume they go on here. Well, I'm putting them on here. <laughs> 
<laughs> These may not actually work, but this is where they're going. Not connected. Not connected. Yep, okay, those have been placed wrong, apparently. Okay, still wrong. Okay, now it's wrong still. I guess the ammo controller is wrong? How about that? Connected! There we go. I don't know how I did that different, but uh, now we have a squid. Flock monkey! Oh yeah. So, our shell consists of gun... Gunpowder casing. Uh, let's see. Gauge increase required zero. And how big is the shell? How long is the shell? Shell length zero meters. Is it because the entire thing is gun gunpowder casing? <laughs> uh, should we put a hollow point? Imparts kinetic energy into the surface with armor piercing of four. Useful for small unarmored targets. Well, I'm going to hope that that's what we're going up against. Increase in armor piercing with low chance of low change of shell fragmentation post armor. AP capped heads. Oh, what does it say now? I forgot to pay attention to how that's going to change. Increase in armor piercing with what? Increase in armor piercing with low change of shell fragmentation post armor. It's basically the standard shell, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna put an AP capped head in here. I figured that's good. And uh, I forgot what you can put in the middle of the thing. Solid warhead adds a large amount of mass for kinetic damage and allows for faster flights. Sabot warhead increases AP but has reduced mass. Uh, no, I don't need that. <clears throat> Flak Warhead Explosion is larger in radius but less damaging than an HE. Oh, let's put an HE in here. Yeah. Let's put an HE in there. Alright, so now it's flying. It's firing significantly slower, but 237 meters per second is still a pretty good speed. So I'd say, uh... I'd say that's good. So I got 40 parts available in 4 boxes. I got a shell design ready. Let's put... A ammo router in which I'll just put if I put it here will that work well, I hope so but I don't like that location I'm gonna put it over here and then I'm gonna have to go onto this and oops right, come on hit the button whoops okay let's put the ammo router I'll just put it, you know, because I'm going to change this design because it turns out I built it wrong. I'll just put it there. And it says it's not connected to a firing piece. What does that mean? What do you mean you're not connected to a firing piece? Do you have to be connected to that? Well, let's put the ammo router here and then put a connector there. Oh, where did that go? Put it there. Okay, now it says it's connected. I don't know where the other one went. I placed a part that just went into the ether, essentially. But uh, it looks like it looks like we have uh, it looks like we have a thing ready to go. I just need to load a shell into it, which I may have not done properly, considering the fact that it's not loading. loading now uh, let's see <laughs> yeah zero percent of shells it's not loading oh I just accidentally put a, a an extender here instead of a router that explain why it's not working okay router is that a good spot uh, apparently it is not damn it what about if I put one there? How do I get this to make shells? Come on, think. 
Shells racked, zero. Shell diameter, yep. Advanced cannon, slot zero, etc., etc. That's that's all good and dandy. But how do I get it to fire shells? Something just change? I couldn't quite tell. I have no idea what I'm doing. I thought this would just work. I need to go rewatch that video that I learned how to do this from. Because obviously I learned how to do it wrong. That's unfortunate. Well, I'm going to end this stream here, and thus this video, if anyone's watching this, and actually has watched this far, which would be insane if you had. And I'm going to call it Noob V2, because it's the second, second noob save. Also, I'm going to get off of TeamSpeak now, and actually I'm not going to get back on Discord, so goodbye, Lomeli! Bye! Disconnected. Trace that you were clothed in, we could live like royalty.